Hey guys, this is Blackheart, and I have another museum challenge for you guys. Uh, this one was requested by this guy. I apologize. I can't say your name, and I'm not even going to attempt to, because I will mumble and mess it up, and then you shall be very sad. I don't want to make anyone very sad, because I hate it when I am very sad, so I doubt you like it. Ah, uh, sorry about that, guys. It's pretty late here. It's like 3 o'clock, I think. I'm not looking at the time, and my computer's time is messed up. Ah, uh, but this is a M21 and intervention only uh, museum challenge. Now, the hardest part about this one actually isn't the juggernaut, although I fail quite miserably with the juggernaut this time. Uh, this is actually the sloppiest I've done this challenge, but the other six times I actually succeeded in doing this the file corrupted so going into this I was very frustrated with it and I just started playing terribly but generally what you want to do for if anyone wants to do the M21 intervention or WA 2000 or any sniper rifle really any sniper rifle snipe, sniper rifle sniper rifle only challenge in the museum you want to whore out the grenades and flashbangs. Uh, so you want, whenever you go to run in one of these last rooms, you want to have a grenade, or a flash grenade, and a regular grenade that you can bounce around the corner. Now, why I say this is the flash grenade will disorient them, and you want to leave the regular grenade. You want to like prime it for two pulsations because they'll go and pick that up and that delays them all of them will rush to it until somebody picks it up and then they'll continue to follow you and generally at two they just have time to pick it up and it may just leave their hand and it'll explode and still kill them and it also takes the time for them all to charge to it which allows you to get back here and resupply your grenades uh, with the juggernaut however you want to use in this case the intervention but Whichever one of your guns does the more most damage. You want to flash bang him. Flash bang. I was trying to make that seem less dirty. Flash. If I said flash him, it would have been bad. And then I said bang him, and it just didn't work. Anyway, uh, you want to flash bang him, and then shoot him as many times as possible with uh, your highest damage gun in this hallway. And then fall back, resupply your grenades, and go with your faster shooting sniper rifle. Uh, later on in this, in a little bit actually, I am trying to use the intervention more than I should be. If I wanted to be playing it safe, I should use the M21 the whole time. But I felt bad only using the M21 because it just kind of turned it into an M21 only thing. Wow, I said M21 an awful lot. There I go again. Anyway. It just kind of turned into an M21 only game, and I wanted to get the intervention in there. So every round I was trying to finish off with an intervention kill, and that almost gets me killed the last round, and I just gave up on it because I was not going to die. I would recorded it six times successfully in the final crafted, and I was just sick of it. I wanted to try it one more time, and if it didn't work, I was going to smash my PBR through the window. Not literally, but... I felt like it. Anyway, uh, during the this particular room, the first room, but I'm actually using it as the second room, you definitely want to whore out your grenades because in the Juggernaut room, the regular people aren't as aggressive if you kill the Juggernaut in the hallway or as soon as he gets into your room. But in this, with this room, they're all aggressive no matter what. So you want to flashbang as soon as you resupply and you want to throw as many grenades as possible like you want to do flashbang grenade grenade flashbang grenade grenade and then two flashbangs resupply again I don't think I do that correctly but that's the way it seemed to work best for me I just kinda lucked out this time and on your last grenade you need to do that that two pulsation thing again General, generally you want to do a three pulsation so they don't have any time to pick it up but the two pulsation is to slow them down. Uh, I am quickly running out of things to talk about. But, oh yes, I forgot to talk about the prep work. At the beginning of the video, I had speed sped up 
the prep work. You saw me shooting the laptops and knifing the plants and all that stuff. And that was so whenever the juggernaut, or really anybody for that matter, comes into the room, I have a clear line of sight to shoot at them. And I can drop down behind the desk for cover for myself. They will crouch down behind the desk, but if only a few of them do it, I think it's only the main characters that do it. Don't quote me on that because I'm probably wrong. But it just helps out to be able to see them. And even if they crouch down like the top of their back, like an inch or two, in, if you were in the game, but it's only like a centimeter for on your TV screen, depending on how big it is. So I should need to talk about that. Anyway, that will still poke up and you can shoot it. Uh, that guy, I don't think they should give the people explosives at all in this because all they have to do is shoot you with two explosives and there's four explosive guys in the first room and there's two in the second room so if they shoot you with two explosives then you're automatically dead and I think it's four bullets and you're automatically dead but they all have terrible aim so that's okay uh, the riot shielders though they throw grenades at you and that pisses me off I can't tell you how many times I was almost there I'd try and get my no scope intervention at the end, and a grenade would blow up right beside me and kill me. And that upset me, but uh, I actually considered doing only an M21 version by shooting Price before I started and taking his M21. I think it's Price. I'm fairly sure it's Price. So it has the M21. Anyway, whoever has the M21 on the left side of the room. In the first room when you first start out. Uh, I considered shooting him and taking it, and I actually did do that once, but it makes it so hard to kill the Juggernaut. You have to, like, empty both clips into his head, and when that doesn't work, you want to fall back, grenade, 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 flashbang, flashbang, and then reload, flashbang him again, and empty both clips into his head again. Then he'll finally die. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Signing out.